Hi everyone, my name is Yixuan. I'm a postdoc at Argonne National Laboratory. Today I'm going to talk about distributed training of a forward neuron surrogate for simulating ocean mesoscale activities. And the objective of our work is to train a neuron network surrogate that can accurately predict the forward process of the SOMA model, as well as we ultimately we wanted to match its adjoint so we can understand the sensitivity of the output state variables with respect to the external model parameters better, like those parameters can uh, largely affect how the <coughs> long run. So we generate the data using um, the SOMA simulations, which is also done in Perlmutter CPUs. And the uh, data set, gener a generated data set is uh, in three-dimensional, and we regraded from the mesh to a voxelized representation for uh, convenient machine learning tasks. So the data, one data sample is in space would be 100 by 100 by 60. And the plots show uh, here are on the left, the meridional velocity and on the right, the temperature. We trained three neural network models, namely a residual network, UNET and Fourier neural operator for step forward solving purpose. And uh, we use three-dimensional convolutional kernels for um, the ResNet and uh, UNET because of our domain. And uh, one of the largest challenges so far in this project is to train the large neural networks with such large data size. So we utilized uh, the utility provided by PyTorch, and we distributed the training and also parallelized the data on 40 GPUs on Perlmutter for each run, and we use the entire 12 hour wall time for uh, the, the training. And uh, we got pretty impressive results from all three models actually for one step forward predictions. And on uh, in the plots, the left column are, the, the, the left column is the um, true uh, state variable field, and the right column is the model predicted ones. And furthermore, we investigated the longer horizon rollout for all three models, and we found out that Fourier, Fourier neural operator performed the best. And uh, as you can see in the two metrics we evaluate, we used to evaluate the longer horizon rollout. FNO can uh, keep a relatively high precision or very low error accumulation for the first 10 steps, but the error quickly accumulate or exponentially increase after around 50, uh, 15 steps. So uh, in the future work, we would like to address this issue uh, by possibly injecting noise into the training set so that they can do a better rollout. And also, uh, as the next step, we would uh, use dot product test to verify the adjoint calculated from the neural surrogate against the approximated adjoint from the um, true physical model and would probably include more adjoint aware training schemes to improve our results. Thank you.